she's not been well and she was dreading the pip coming, the new form, because uh, she knew she'd have to do it and she knew it was going to be really hard for her because it's a long form with a lot of detail and she also knew if she didn't get it right, if she said the wrong thing or didn't phrase it properly or did something else wrong that it would automatically get turned down. It didn't just stress her a little bit, it really sent her downhill. And I'll just read what she wrote in her book. In terms of life, health, it's been very up and down. I've been trying to do my pit renewal with a lot of help from Helen, that's me, and I found it incredibly difficult. I even tried to throw myself under a train on the 11th of this month following four consecutive days of shutdown. That's when she's literally paralysed. Luckily I was saved seconds before the train arrived by a station master. Perhaps somebody's looking after me after all because I was going to jump. Now that was on the 11th of March. She continued to really worry and fret over the form and it led to lots of other illnesses for her. She was self-harming, she was pouring boiling a kettle of boiling water over her arms, she was burning herself, she would heat metal rods and burn her arms. She would have to stay in bed, she couldn't look after herself, she couldn't shop, she couldn't eat. And the form, by the way, let me just show you what we sent in. And this is without the letters of support. Now there's roughly 50 pages here. 50 pages to apply for something to which you are already entitled and that she was already getting. And her condition had only got worse since the previous PIP in 2014. She took an overdose. Um, the Wednesday before she died and then having that didn't work and on the Friday she just took herself to the station and threw herself under a train on the 21st of April. Although she was airlifted to King's College she later died from her terrible injuries.